So let's start what we have come here to do. <laughs> hey guys welcome to my channel and welcome to another video on deborah aiken's channel <laughs> i don't know why i did that but yeah welcome guys and um so today we're going to be doing a get ready with me video we're not getting ready to go anywhere to be honest i don't have plans to go anywhere i'm going to go and run a few errands but i don't need to do makeup for that <laughs> I'm just doing makeup solely because I want to show you guys what I do. I've been getting a lot of questions from um, you guys about, oh, your makeup, how do you do this, how do you do that? And I thought, okay, let me just show you guys what I do. Um, today, I'm not going to be wearing heavy makeup, obviously, because I'm not going, like, anywhere. So I'm just going to be doing, like, a natural girl next door, um simple subtle makeup now my simple will probably be different from your simple i know some people's simple makeup is just powder and out of uh, out you go but me myself and i when i say simple i'm talking maybe not much of eyeshadow nothing nothing like um like overly contoured face or those kind of things just neutral girl next door kind of vibe yeah so yeah so to start i'm gonna moisturize my lips and pay no mind to whatever product i'm using of course if you are interested in any of the products i'm using um you can um i would try it's not easy i would try to leave um the details of everything that i use in this video in the description box so you can just look below and have a look however if i don't just leave me a comment in the comment section and ask me for what product you are interested in and i'll be sure to tell you about it and tell you where i got it from yeah yeah okay so for my lip balm the one i've been loving of late is this one by frank and buddy um so so moisturizing if you've been following me for quite a while you know that I use the Laneige sleeping mask um, which is also a very good one so that what I'm going to do now is apply SPF for my face and I did say I was gonna come out come here and talk to you guys about SPFs this particular SPF is one that I was waiting for now this is from don't know if you guys can see this is from the um glow recipe glow recipe that's the name of the brand and this is their spf 50. i will talk in details about spf in another video um yeah but i will talk in details about spf in another video but for the sake of this video let's just do what we came here to do which is to get ready um so just in case you are not familiar with get ready with me videos the aim is to come online and get ready with your um friends online friends which is you guys <laughs> and just talk you know um sometimes there is you know there's like a topic that um I would be I would have in mind that I want to talk about whilst getting ready while sometimes it's just just talk whatever comes to mind just say it out and is it just imagine you going out with your friends for a cup of tea and you guys are just having a conversation right that's that's really what it is but instead you're online so if you're watching and you're new to like get ready with me kind of videos you can go and get like a cup of tea you know whatever you water glass of wine whatever you drink and just watch me sip you know and if you're going out as well you can you know pull out your own makeup and then we'll do makeup together obviously you apply your own stuff and then we just get ready together yeah I have here with me my um, 
smoothie nothing special I just have in here um, banana and strawberry so yeah look at my eyebrows you guys <laughs> my eyebrows need help they need they need help they need they need they need salvation okay they need love what we're going to do now is apply primer to be honest i really don't need to do this because i'm not going anywhere but for the sake of anyone that is learning this is not a, like intense tutorial but just in case you're just picking up one or two things as i go i am applying primer I prefer to do my eyebrows after I apply my foundation because they they help it help to give it this softer look than when you do it first. Um, I find anyway for myself, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I'm going in with Zara's foundation. This foundation is darker a little bit for me, but it is now summer period, and majority well. We're approaching summer. Are we still in spring? When is the first day of summer? Is it May? I think it's May. I don't know. <laughs> um, it is now, so I did one pump of that. And I'm going to mix it with um, my Lancome um, foundation. In day, we're gonna mix it together. Just mix it quickly. For days when I'm not doing much makeup, I don't want too much on my face. I'm not like I don't need, I don't need full coverage. Although the the foundation that I use, they are all they all give full full coverage. But again, I don't need to, it to like fully cover my skin. Like you know, if some parts of my face. It's still showing and it's not covered. I'm fine. I am okay. So I'm just gonna apply that quickly. I actually want to thank every single person who has been following me. Um, new followers. I know that I have new followers, obviously. Um, and I'm 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 excited. I'm grateful. Excited is not the word. It's grateful because. You know, it means a lot actually to every every YouTuber on planet planet Earth. Um, when you get not just new following, but people who are willing to engage in your content, people who are willing to be patient with you as you grow, people who are willing to understand, you know, you and stick with you. When you have people like that on YouTube, it means a lot because YouTube, unlike every other um, social media platform, is not the easiest for younger people like us to grow. Unlike TikTok and Instagram, you know, Reels and all that kind of stuff, you, you grow quite easily because the platform encourages that. But here on YouTube, there's no lie that YouTube will, you know, promote videos of people who have more following than some of us or those of us who are still young. And then obviously the criteria and the things that they require you to do before they finally start to um, promote your videos or, you know, yeah, promote your videos so that other people can see your videos. It's a lot. So before you finally get there, <laughs> you will be like exhausted. And it takes a lot. It takes consistency. It takes you just loving what you do and sometimes forgetting yourself on this platform. And I've seen people who have been here 10 years and they only just hit their final break like after 10 years or after like five years or after three years obviously some people hit their break after like a year and all that kind of stuff but everybody's story is different 
So what am I trying to say? When you see people who are willing to be with you through this journey, stay with you, grow with you, it means a lot to every YouTuber. And for me, I'm grateful when I see people come back to watch my videos, to leave a comment, and then I see the same people on Instagram. I'm like, sometimes I'm like, are you sure you wanna be? here with me <laughs> of course they do like but it's just like really you really like my content oh my god i'm gonna do more oh my god i'm gonna recreate oh my god i'm gonna do this and yes i know i don't have like 100 views or like a thousand views or 1 million views but honestly the the, the little i have i am grateful for it i am grateful for it um because the work i put into this thing <laughs> yeah I, like just to see someone say well done to see someone say oh i loved that video it means a whole lot to me so honestly i'm i'm grateful and i'm not just saying this because i'm using natural light so my video the lights the lighting in my video will probably be like in and out and <laughs> I have to keep playing around with the, like the exposure and all that kind of stuff so excuse me but yeah I'm grateful so grateful you guys so so grateful so I'm just bringing that down to my name just the leftover of what I have here I'm looking here because I have a bigger mirror that I'm looking at is giving me a better view of what I am doing so that is why this one here mm -mm, it's not doing it for me <laughs> it's so small <laughs> so, um, yeah so that is that yeah yep, 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 yep. okay so the next thing I'm going to do now is to go in with concealer and normally I would do like two concealers and at this point in time but to be honest this one that I've been using this is um, Bond This Way by Too Faced and it's a butterscotch if you've tried a lot of concealers and you still haven't found the one that works go and try this one out just try it out Find your shade and then try it out. Also, I know that a lot of people will probably probably want like more of drugstore um, products. When I say drugstore, I'm talking about products that you can find in like Boots, Superdrug, um, that are easily accessible and then you can obviously go in there and you know, see what you're buying because most of the are high end oh boots now like has a lot of like high end products if you go to the if you're in Glasgow if you go to the one in um Brayhead they have like um they have Huda Beauty there they have um they have like Dior they have all this they, have, they even have two face stand where you can actually see what you're your, what you're buying but not every other boots i'm not sure what other ones i'm in glasgow i can only tell you about what is in glasgow <laughs> so um yeah they have all of those and you can see them but otherwise you just have to try your luck what i'm using to set my under eye is laura messier um i feel like i just modeled that name laura mercier laura messier laura messier you see don't ask me to pronounce things. <laughs> don't ask me. To, don't. Because <laughs> hmm. you'll be shocked at what you what will come out of my mouth. So after this, I'm going to go in and um, contour my face. Now, this powder is from Charlotte Tilbury and it's the airbrush flawless finishing flawless finish powder this powder I bought it and it's supposed to act as your finishing powder obviously 
and when when I've seen it when I see it on people that have used it, it looks amazing on them. But the shade is too dark for me. So what I've been doing is I've been using this as my um bronzer instead. And I also like to go in with my Fenty Beauty Coconut Tea. So I will just mix both of them together. Just <laughs> I don't know why they stopped. The camera went off. But <laughs> I was applying my bronzer. You want to go from the top of your ear and just follow that line. Down. You don't want this bronzer or this contour that you're applying on this bit to be too low or too high. You just want it to be perfect. If you get it right, it will give you an amazing chiseled, chiseled look. If you don't, then you can look dragged. Like your face can look like it's dragging and all that kind of stuff. And what I was saying is when you're applying, you want to tap in the product and not drag. Because the product you have underneath this powder, obviously, is um, foundation, which is cream. So if you start to like drag things, then you start to move things about, which will not look good. So anything after you apply your foundation, anything, anything at all you want to apply above it, on top of it, it's going to be in a tapping motion can you guys see that so obviously this is a bronzer that I'm doing if I was going to contour it to be sharper than this but I'm fine with this then for my forehead I don't go in with because I, I, I my coconut is a bit dark it gives can you see that redness it's it's the coconut that's doing that this one on its own it's amazing bronzer and it just gives me enough, you know, color that I need. I don't like my forehead to be too sharp. Um, as you can see, it's not as sharp as my cheek. It's just subtle, which is nice. Yep. And then we can just go underneath here. And let it give us another chiseled chiseled look so the last time you saw me applying my contour well bronzer I'm gonna go in with a blush and the one I'm using is this one by MAC and it's in the shade Raising um, and it looks like this, like so. Going in with a blush brush, and this brush is from Wet n Wild. Again, you just want to tap. Don't drag. Never, ever, ever. If you if you want a flawless look on your face, don't drag. Don't. Don't do that, don't do that. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Okay, the beads. So beautiful. I love this blush. So beautiful. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is apply highlighter. And the one I'm going to use is this one from Becca. See the highlight. Oh, look at that highlight. <laughs> I'm using um, this brush from by Jara Dinada. By the way, do you guys want to see like my... <laughs> do you know what brushes are used for? Let me know in the comment section below. Would you like to... Would you like me to do a video where I talk you through what the different brushes are used for? I know that not everyone that follows me actually knows much about makeup um, and for some people it might be it might still be overwhelming 
for you right now, seeing the different, you don't need tons and tons of makeup, of brushes to do makeup. Those days are over. You can actually use very little and it, it will do the job for you. So you don't need, you don't need everything. But I'm very much aware that um, a lot of, not everybody knows, not everyone that follows me knows much about makeup. And I'm happy to talk to you about it, especially brushes. Okie dokie, so my brows are done. Um, obviously, they are more fuller than they would normally be if they were threaded. Um, but I'm okay with this. Uh, <laughs> I'm okay with this. What else? Obviously, this brow looks like it's higher than this one. But there's one thing you need to know about brows. They are cousins, not sisters. And I feel like if I start to go in and try to start to perfect things, it's just going to make things a little bit... Things are just going to start to, you know. So let's just leave it like this. Okay. So what we're going to do next is go in and apply my powder. And just bring all of this together. You know, just bring it all together, together. My face powder. Tap, 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 tap. Tap up the excess. Tap up the excess. Look at how I'm going to apply my powder. I am not going to... Remember what I said? Just, you know, just bring it in. I love this brush with my face powder. So nice. Okay, you guys, we are done. Thank you so much for watching. If you stay till the end, Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I hope that you've been able to learn one or two things. You've been able to pick up one or two things or you've heard one or two things <laughs> from this video. Um, again, I am so grateful for your support, for your love, for um, like everything. I see it and I am, I am flabbergasted. <laughs> is, is that a word? I'm just so grateful. We're small, but to be honest, I am really enjoying the community that we are gradually building. And I know that one day we'll get there. But to be honest, if we don't, I'm happy with what we have here. Thank you so much. So, so much. And I'll see you again in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>